I have another mouse to look at. Yay, let's do it. All right, and that's what we're gonna do. We are gonna take a look at the Rocket Kane 200 Amo uh, wireless gaming mouse. Uh, this is a newer one from Rocket. And how I came across this is uh, I was watching um, on Facebook some of the ads or videos that were put out by Rocket about their doctor disrespect stuff. And frankly, I think it's pretty cool as you can see here. Some of them are pretty humorous, they're entertaining. Um, but what it did is it let me take a look at, so, oh, what do they got coming out here? Well, I grabbed this one because the price kind of caught me on it, $69.99. It's not that bad of a price for a wireless, customizable uh, gaming mouse. Uh, again, I hate that term gaming mouse, but you know, whatever is what it is. So that's what we've got here. So I decided, okay, let's take a look at it. And this is actually gonna be something we're gonna give away. More on that later, but you gotta watch the whole video to understand. I might throw it in the middle. I might throw this, this stuff in the, at the end. Who knows what I'm gonna do? Really important, you need to watch. Okay, um, this mouse right now you can buy it for $69.99. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it on uh, directly from Rocket. I've, I always like Amazon because of this. Rocket's um, customer service and support has been rough at best, okay? <laughs> I don't wanna <clears throat> say too much because they have actually replaced uh, my leader mouse several times because of a design flaw. Regardless, they've done it, but it's taken a lot of extra work. Now, recently they've updated their support process. So I just went through it and it wasn't that bad. I was kind of surprised. So I'm cautiously optimistic that maybe they've changed their support service. We shall see. So with this, um, I think at $69.99, $69 it's a good value. And again, the reason I get it from Amazon is partially because of that, because of how quickly you can get your shipping from uh, them with the two-day prime, all that kind of stuff. The returns are nice and simple with Amazon. That's just an opinion. That's all I'm gonna say. But that's what they got. So. Let's dive into this a little bit more. So what is Rocket advertising this as? What's so important about this? Well, the one of the main things that they seem to be highlighting is the new switches or their redesign of, of the mouse. Now, I don't know many people that use the mouse and the function that they have listed on the website. I mean, I'll, I'll put it on here, but um, yeah, it doesn't really look that amazing. I, I don't think I can use it sitting on the keyboard like that, but you know, kind of cool, why not? not? <laughs> So what are they talking about? Well, the, I'm not gonna get past this. I mean, yes, it's got a nice coating. It does feel good, but no, not much different than any of the other mice out there. It's their click. So they're calling this the Titan click. And I will tell you that this does feel very nice. And as you can hear, it's very clicky, very distinct, and it responds quickly. I, I will say that. I, now I can't tell the difference between the click response of this versus my Logitech G502 wireless light speed, or my Razer Basilisk Ultimate, or my Corsair Iron Claw. I, it, they kind of all feel the same, but it does feel nice. It's responsive. I, uh, they're saying that it, it's uh, the signal processing is faster than everything else out there. Well, I don't know, maybe it is. I personally have no way of measuring it, and I'm not gonna try to find a way to measure it. I'll leave that to people like, Gamers Nexus or maybe Linus Tech Tips. I'm guessing maybe they have some way of measuring this, but I sure don't have those tools. Um, it seems responsive and I will tell you this, there was a time that yes, a wireless gaming mouse seemed laggy compared to a wired mouse. I don't think that's the case anymore. I think with technology and how, how they've been able to advance these things, it feels just as fast as anything else. I don't, I can't see it's fa so it feels faster or slower. It, they all kind of feel the same at this point for the gaming mice. Um, the illumination is nice. Now, here's where I'm gonna make a little comment. I do think that the rear logo is a little overboard and I'll zoom in here. I like how they did it on the leader, which is the mouse on the right. And the mouse on the left is the, the Kane 200. 
I think that they could have done the lighting a little more minimalistic like they did on the leader on this mouse. But that's just, again, personal preference. Uh, that's it. I don't want to say anything negative about it, but they are very bright. And the lighting is controlled for, within the Swarm software. We're going to get into that here in a little bit. They're going to say experience limitless gameplay. Okay. As with anything in, in the last several mice I've used outside of the Logitech, which that, that I, I still cannot understand how their battery life is so much better than everything else out there. Uh, that has RGB on it. I just, I don't know how they do it. I don't know what stands them apart, but there, I will say this. When you have this thing at full brightness, which it is very bright. I don't know if you really need to have it at full brightness. Your battery life is like eight hours at best of continual use, which isn't horrible because again, I don't know how often you're sitting down and playing eight games for eight hours straight. I mean, maybe some people are, I personally don't have the time to, um, so I don't. Um, However, you change this illumination level, the brightness level, and it drastically changes the battery life of this mouse. If you set it about half brightness, which is to me plenty bright, you get about 16 hours of continual use, which I don't think anybody is really gonna notice the difference at that point. At that point, you use it, you plug it in when you're done, and that's that. You turn it down, they say you can get up to 35 hours uh, of continual gameplay if you have it. They're saying enabled. I'm going to say enabled is like 10%. I guess it's technically true at that point. Now, if you turn off the lighting, which I don't know, that's a, a feature of the mouse, so I don't know why you would, but if you turn off the mouse, they're saying, they're equating, it's going to last up to 50 hours of game time, which is a whole four weeks. I don't know how they're calculating 50 hours being four weeks. Weird math. I'm not going to try to figure that one out because I know new math these days is a little weird, but that's a whole nother level of weird because it doesn't, doesn't equate. But anyway, that's what they're saying. I can tell you this. I did shut it off. And after a couple of days of just being left on computer being left on, uh, and yes, using sleep mode and all that kind of stuff, uh, available to, to power it down, having all that stuff being powered down. All I can tell you this is it lasted a long time. Period, just lasted. So that's pretty cool. When we come down and they're talking about an improved button design, maybe, I will tell you this, it's comfortable. I like how it feels in my hand. It feels natural. I like the placement of the side buttons. They're just naturally in the right spot for my thumb. I have used some mice where they seem too far forward, too far back, probably my hand size, but it just, it feels good in my hand. I will say that. When we get down into the settings, they're saying that the it's got the Rocket Owlite optical sensor with 16,000 DPI. Um, okay, that's great. 40 uh, grams acceleration. Okay, I mean, th this stuff makes sense. You can uh, you turn on or off the angle snapping. Uh, pretty nice, your, th your pulling rate up to 1,000 uh, hertz. That's good. You have onboard memory, uh, your on-run switches. It does have their easy shift technology, which that's pretty cool. I'm going to show you that here within uh, the Rocket Suite. Talks about the dimensions here. It's not a very large mouse. It's not an overly small mouse. It does feel really well. Again, I personally prefer a slightly wider mouse, which is part of the reason why I like their leader mouse so much. But I think for most people, this is going to feel uh, pretty nice. And obviously, it's going to work with any of your windows. Um, I don't know that this, I don't believe this works with Mac OS at all. So you Mac people out there, sorry, it's probably not gonna be really exciting for you. Now, let's jump in here and let's take a look at uh, the Swarm software. This is real similar to uh, those uh, programs such as let's say Corsair's IQ. However, this doesn't use hardly any uh, your background process a CPU power as compared to say IQ. IQ can use, you know, three to 4% of your uh, CPU utilization on a 9900K. This thing doesn't even register in task manager. So I love this. Uh, it doesn't seem to have any glitches, no hang up. So <clears throat> I do like that. So it's pretty simple to use. You just switch between, uh, you know, what item you want to use in this situation, the Kane uh, 200. First screen is your generic setting, and here is where you've got your DPI switcher, which is also right on the mouse, initially programmed with the DPI button, so you can switch between the DPI 
just by pushing the button. And I have mine set at 1600 right now because that's what's comfortable for me. You can control your vertical scroll, your vertical scroll speed. You can change your horizontal tilt speed if you've got it in tilt mode, double click speed. You know, just these are pretty generic settings that you can go ahead and change your button assignment. Now, this is one thing that I think the power of what Rocket does is pretty nice for the most part. You obviously have every button on here is programmable. Side note, I do wish this had another button on here or at least allowed you to, to use the wheel as a tilt left, right uh, for additional programmability. Just a personal preference, that's something I really like. Or they could have taken and added the, the tilt uh, button in the middle of the toggle uh, from the leader would have been a nice add on this as well. But that's just my opinion. Regardless, when you use this and everything's being programmable, including that DPI switch, and this is such a simple program to use to be able to program things that I think that they've just kind of mostly got this right. You can even set anything you want to your easy shift button. So if I wanted my left click or my right click to be the, the easy shift button, I could do so, which would allow me to use it along press with that to activate a second set of options for everything else. So that's really nice. I like how they've done that. Illumination, this is where I was talking about. You can change the battery life of your, um, your mouse. Simply adjusting the brightness. And frankly, at 50%, this thing is more than bright enough to, for me to say, I don't know why someone would leave it at full brightness at all the time, unless you just you know feel like you want to. So whatever. This Amo intelligent lighting system is pretty nice because it does tie in everything. It's a pretty cool effect. You can literally, as you're using it, it will change what's going on in your mouse or your keyboards. And you know, I'll, I'll go and I'll show an example of that. And it's pretty cool. Now, the downside. You can't change the color scheme or, or the gradient on this. I would like to see, be able to further customize that. This is just a comment uh, for the devs. This is not a complaint per se, but I should be able to fully customize all lighting on this. I would let, you know, if I wanted to have a certain set of uh, the spectrum of colors in here to be using in any of these features, whether it's within the intelligent lighting system, with it, whether it's in wave, which you can't adjust that for anything other than brightness or speed, or and some of these other features, I think you should be able to fully program that and fully customize that on our old side comment. Just a, a little bit of a disappointment there. I think that the uh, attention to detail was not paid there. I think that they uh, cut some corners or just you stop short, frankly. And then you get into your advanced settings, which this is going to tell you your battery life. You can adjust how uh, <clears throat> how much you want for your standby, if you want standby at all. All of this stu stuff can be adjusted in here. Your polling rate, angle snapping, sound feedback, if for some reason you want to have sound feedback in your speakers every time you click your mouse. I don't really know why you would, but you know, you could, I guess. Um, <laughs> you know, whatever. So those are all within here as well. Now you have your profiles at the bottom, which this is pretty nice. I do wish you could have more down here, but I'm fine with how it works. It's pretty easy to save, to import. You have your profile manager here, which you can then go down you have stored. You can have a hundred save profiles. Profiles, if you wanted to have a certain five active, you grab them from down here, you drag them up here and it works. So that's how Swarm works. And that's kind of the heart of what this mouse is. Now. What do I think about this? I've been using this for a little bit now. I think it's a very nice, clean, simple mouse. It's effective. I think it's a decent price point at 69 bucks. I still think I'd like to see it just a little bit less, but I guess with where peripherals are going, they're getting more and more expensive. I think that uh, this mouse is a decent value for what it is. I'm gonna give this mouse away. And <clears throat> what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a, uh, this is for, my thousand subscriber, which I know is very small. It's important to me because I can finally monetize my video. It's not that that really means anything at this point because a thousand viewer or a thousand uh, subscribers, my video, my views are <clears throat> so low that I don't really get paid much off of it, but it's still uh, a, a milestone for me. Uh, it's a new channel and I'm excited. So I figured why not give something away to those that uh, are involved. So what I'm gonna have you do is click the Gleam link below and that is how you're going to enter into this and in two weeks the winner will be announced 
and I will send this to you for your charge. Now, this does have to be kept to um, continental United States only. I do apologize if you're outside of uh, United States, the, the uh, contiguous 48 cost of shipping, so on and so forth, all those things, the legalities behind it. I can't really get into much of that. And basically, you know, I, I'm i paying for the mouse and I'm paying for the shipping. So that's how it's gonna work. So if you're in the US, uh, you can enter to win and good luck to the person who gets it. Anyway, that's what we got for today. Anyway, hopefully you liked today's video. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button for me. If you didn't, you know what else to do. Hope it's not that. Hit that subscribe button for me and we will see you in the next one. Thanks. So, uh,